welcome back. These are the three grown-up party looks that you need to know. So Christmas is coming up. These are really easy, quick, chic, just quite understated party looks that if you can master, I think you've always got something that you can fall back on that takes five minutes. So I filmed a really beautiful video with Bowden all about party outfits that aren't just the kind of things that you can wear once, they're clothes that you can wear again and again and again. I'm gonna to link to it below. Um, you could have it open in another tab if you wanted to, running alongside this so you can refer to the outfits. And for the people who have already seen the Bowden video or have come across from that, these are the three makeup looks that go with the outfits that I picked. So let's get started, we'll go back to the start and I'll show you how to do all three. Right, this is an easy one. And a classic, it's the classic red lip, apart from I've gone a bit more orangey red. Now, rather than do the classic Robert Palmer-esque, quite set, heavy makeup, and then the classic bold red lip, I'm doing a gorgeous, almost like a summery skin. Very dewy, very glowy, lots of very sheer makeup layers. I'm starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter which I love and I use it as a primer because it gives the most amazing glow. Now this is the easiest look because I think once you start to get going with the eyes, you're in all kinds of trouble, aren't you really? Especially if you're running late. So look, scraped back hair into a bun, get your hairspray and any flyaways, you just hairspray down. It could not be easier. Uh, I'm going in on top of that with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, which is really glowy, great for dry skin. It could do with being a shade darker, but the shade darker is in my car. I'm gonna go in with some Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun, which I always get all over the place. Now what I could have done is I could have mixed a little bit of this with my foundation actually and made the whole thing a little bit more glowy but what I'm going to do instead is just take the bronze in the areas where the sun would catch naturally anyway. So then I've got the best of both worlds because I'm giving myself a little bit of a, a face shape at the same time so I take it all around the temples, onto the cheekbones, on the cheeks it's a bit across the top of the nose because you always catch the sun there, don't you? And it's so, so subtle look. You can hardly tell that I've done anything. But sometimes that's what good makeup's all about. Or at least makeup that I like, which is basically really understated. Going in with another little blushy sort of bronze product I'm using all one brush, this is just my foundation brush, it's um, Real Techniques. This is an Elizabeth Arden blusher, cream blusher, and it's in Honey. And I'm just taking that where you would take a bronzer. So it's sort of like a, a pinky bronze shade. It's midway between a bronzer and a blush. Going for brown mascara, because I'm fair, uh, fairish. Um, and I just like the way it looks. So I've got Clarins Supra Mascara. So just a couple of coats, and I shall tidy that up in a second when it's all dried. I'm just gonna go through my brows with a bit of brow gel. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Lips. Now look, we're not doing like a super sharp uh, red lip here, but it's almost a, the same amount of effort because you want it to look effortless, um, but actually, let me just bring my mirror closer. So I'm gonna draw my lip line in and using a Max Factor lip liner, I'm not doing it, 
trying to speak and do it at the same time. I'm not doing it all the way around, so I'm just doing the Cupid's bow and the top bit, not all the way into the corners of my mouth. And then I'm just blending that in. So I'm making it softer. And then at the bottom, same sort of deal. But you can see that you've got the definition there. It's just not a really hard line. This is the Jolly Rouge Velvet from Clarence and it's called Spicy Chili. So again, apply and then just really gently tapping that in. And with these lipsticks that are slightly more matte, this one is a really lovely soft matte. As soon as you start touching it or blending it out or just patting it, it's, it almost turns into a powder. So it's just got this really lovely soft focus effect. It's not a bang. I mean, the colour is really punchy, but the actual line of it is soft and I think really forgiving. Okay, so that is quick and easy, modern, cool, I think, uh, looks effortless, red lip. So it's like the anti-classic red lip in a way. You've got really glowy, lovely skin. It looks very, the skin looks very natural and fresh. Um, and the lips look sort of quite undone. And I love it. Now this is going in like full throttle glitterama, okay? I think this is limited edition. And this is a, a glitter pot and an eye gloss, and it's from Estee Lauder. Now this is the look that I came up with to go with the amazing bird print party suit that they have at Bowdoin. I am wearing the Belgrave jumpsuit um, instead because I thought I'd show you a couple of different options, which is, I think, one of the best things I have seen this year. Bowdoin just do the most amazing prints. They're really unique. Okay, so I've got this eye gloss. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's pretty sticky. Look at this, this is like my worst nightmare, this glitter. So I'm going in with a brush and I am really tapping off anything that I can. I don't wanna get on my face. And then pressing that glitter over the top of the gloss. But you do get this really gorgeous, sheeny, not quite there glitter. So it captures the light look, but it's not blocks of glitter on your face. It's a bit lived in, it's a bit dirty. I really like it, which is why I've shown it to you today. And I think it's very grown up. It's almost like, this isn't an appealing word at all, but it's almost like sweaty makeup. Um, I mean, this, amount of reddishness is probably not going to be for everyone but I love it so sorry about that so in with the gloss again now look there are loads of cream shadows that are really really sheeny and shimmery and gorgeous there are loads of very metallic eyeshadows and you could probably get a much more metallic look than this but that wouldn't really be a very interesting thing to talk about. And so that's why I wanted to do this, because I just think it's a slightly different effect. A nude lip liner, I'm using the Clinique one. I think it's Quick Liner Intense, and it's in shade one. Just sketching round. The lip line for a tiny bit of definition and then if I had a balm I would use one but I don't so I'm using this which is the nearest thing it's like a Guerlain um, really sheer lipstick hasn't really got much colour to it at all this is my favourite look there's something really 70s about it with the, the jumpsuit that I'm wearing so Make sure you go and see the bird suit as well that's at Bowdoin because 
if you're looking for something that's really easy to wear but really sort of makes a statement, this jumpsuit and the bird print party suit are just both amazing. The suit that I'm talking about is actually separate, so it's the Naomi silk shirt and the, I think it's the Wayborn wide leg trousers. So both of them, the whole point of the video is that you can wear them again and again and again. So you could wear the trousers with the cashmere jumper, you could wear the shirt with jeans. It's amazing altogether as this show-stopping party outfit, but then you could wear it all year round as separates as well. So that was, that was sort of the point of the video really. Okay, just putting some mascara on the lower lashes just to round things off a bit. And because I did want a slightly 70s vibe, retro vibe and I always feel like if you just have some mascara there on your lower lashes it sets things off a bit and we are ready to rock and roll smoky eye to go with this beautiful bird lace dress which you can see in all its glory over on the Bowden video it's called the Bryony dress it's absolutely beautiful and I want to do a very sort of Dolce Vita you know those D&G adverts they're always very glamorous and they've always got the sort of lace topped dresses and massive smoky eyes and nude lips that's the kind of look I want to do but a slightly more modern take First of all, a little bit of foundation note, and I'm using Dior Forever foundation, which has got a sort of matte, not matte, velvet finish. So first little tweak to the smoky eye is that I'm going to use all mattes. Now you can find matte shadows in, there are loads of matte shadows, you don't need to use this palette, um, but this is the Chanel Quad uh, in 308, and it's just one that I had to hand, so you don't need to be using a ridiculous expensive eyeshadow palette but I'm putting a sort of greyish taupe shade all the way across my lid you can see how easy this is and I tend to take my base shade all the way up almost to the eyebrow so I just leave a sort of little run of lighter skin underneath the eyebrow which serves as a natural highlight but the rule is don't take the shadow so go like that and follow the line of your eye and don't bring the shadow underneath the line of the eye otherwise you're going to drag everything down so keep it sort of pointing upwards towards the brow draw an imaginary line between the bottom of your eye and the tip of your end of your eyebrow and don't let anything fall below that line otherwise you're starting to draw the eyes downwards take your next darker shade and that one and I'm using a fluffy brush for both of these just take it into the outer sort of half of the eye lid. Have another brush ready just to buff it in. That's very important, nice clean brush. Say clean, but I've used it for about 70 million other things yesterday. So it's not really clean, but hey ho. It doesn't feel very nice, but I sort of push the brush into the crease and wiggle it around a bit and then it naturally goes up towards the eyebrow and forms this sort of darker section. Now we take the very, very darkest shade and a little sort of stubbly brush. I don't even know what that would be called. It's a Real Techniques something or other, point XXS. Um, and these are like the dome-shaped brushes that they did, like dome-shaped bristles at the top. I'm taking the darker shade and I am literally just pushing that into the very outer corner, almost like a little V, in quite a messy way, and haphazard way, I should add. So, you know, no skill necessary here, obviously. But again, point that V upwards, so it's not like a, a V going to the side, it's going upwards following the line of the eye towards the end of the eyebrow, okay? And that is about as far as I go with the smoky eye. You can make it as intense as you want. Should we, should we just make it a little bit more intense for your amusement? I mean, I just think the more you start putting on, so look, if I mix a very darker shade with the next shade down, 
and we blend that out. The more you start putting on, the more room there is for error. And I know that is not a very adventurous attitude to have when I'm doing a YouTube tutorial, but I just don't have the time anymore to go wrong. I get about eight minutes before I go out of the door to actually get ready for anything. And it just needs to look great and work. So I like to just keep it really, really simple. But look, I think that's quite effective, really. And I haven't even gone underneath yet. So taking the, is that the right end of the brush? Taking the brush, a stubby little brush, we're taking that all the way underneath. But very, very lightly, there's nothing too heavy here. Now this is where you have to be really careful because this is the bit that starts to make you look a lot older if you get it wrong. So, keeping it really, really smoky underneath the eye, taking your black eyeliner pencil, or dark brown, but I don't have a dark brown on me, taking that, you go all the way in the waterline, and you go top and bottom. Feels hideous if you've never done that before, but it just really sort of draws everything together and finishes it off. Okay, final trick with the smoky eye because we are not using false lashes because I cannot be bothered with them. There aren't many mascaras that I will layer over other mascaras because it just goes horribly wrong, but this is like putting on tar. It's Dior Pump and Volume, I think it's called. Yes. And it's just ridiculous. It will go over anything. And as you're about to witness, if you just pop it on as a final coat, I don't know whether you can see how tarry that mascara is, but it's ridiculous. And it just gives, it's like rubberizing your lashes, basically. And then I wanted to go quite peachy, sort of pink, not pinky, like neutral, nudie peachy with my lips and my cheeks. Um, L'Oreal Life's a Peach, just a really cheap and cheerful peachy blush. I'm just going to take that on the apples of the cheeks. Okay, so this is Heavenly Creatures by Tom Ford. Get those roots going. I've got a bit of wave in my hair. And now I'm going to use my Colab um, Extreme Volume Dry Shampoo, which is the only one that does have a slight residue, but for good reason, because spray it in your roots, massage in, and it's basically like a root boost powder in a can. So you can see you've got that back combed effect. Absolutely brilliant. So there you go, three very grown up party looks that you need to know so that you can just fall back on them whenever you've got eight minutes to get ready, which is pretty much all the time. So go and have a look at the Bowden video that I did to see the outfits in all of their glory. The link is below and I have put the details of all the products that I've used as well. And I'll see you next time.